It's the Cube, covering Sapphire Now 2017. Brought to you by SAP Cloud Platform and HANA Enterprise Cloud. Hello everyone, welcome back to our special coverage of SAP Sapphire Now. I'm John Furrier here in the Cube studios in Palo Alto for our three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage, breaking down all the news with analysis. Our next guest here on the Cube is Emily Mui, Senior Director of HANA Cloud Product Marketing at SAP, and Michael Hill, Senior Director of Product Marketing at SAP Cloud Platform. I had a chance to have a conversation around the big news around SAP Cloud Platform and what it means. I had a chance to ask Emily and Michael uh, about the Sapphire impact around this new strategy and the impact of multi-cloud. Here's the conversation with Michael and Emily. Three things to remember, three C's. It's about helping accelerate cloud adoption, consumption, as well as? Choice. Choice. Choice, because of multi-cloud. So this is interesting, so the three C's, I love that um, very gimmicky marketing thing, but I like <laughs> yeah. it, it gets to the point. Choice is huge, right? Multi-cloud yeah. is what everyone's talking about. It, in essence, is what hybrid cloud's turning into. I mean, hybrid cloud, I think, has been uh, the de facto norm now everyone's talking about. That is the preferred way most enterprises are using the cloud, on-premise mm -hmm. and some public cloud, call it hybrid. But now, not, there's, not, there's multiple clouds out there, right? right. <laughs> there's Amazon Web <laughs> Services, you've got Google, yeah. Azure, and now, so there's a lot of, so, so choice is critical. Right. Where to put what workloads. And that's what we're hearing from our customers, and that's why we're moving in that direction, right? Not everyone wants to stick to one infrastructure as a service provider. They've got multiple clouds to, to manage, and we're enabling that. So a choice I get, cloud adoption is essentially creating those APIs mm -hmm. to give them that accelerated approach. Mm -hmm. More cloud adoption means what? I got to be able to run stuff in the cloud faster. Mm -hmm. So that means getting their apps API, the API economy. Mm -hmm. And the consumption, is that on the interface side, or what's, What's the consumption piece of it? Well, I'm going to let Michael uh, have yeah. a, a, so a swing at it now. So consumption of innovation. So here we're talking about um, helping companies with digital transformation with things like um, Internet of Things, which we had in beta, which is now generally available. So uh, customers can um, you know, connect, intelligently connect people, things, and um, business processes all together now. In addition, we've added other um, great technologies like SAP Copilot, which is um, um, allowing you to talk to your enterprise system. So initially that's with SAP S for HANA, and you can you know, say, you know, I'm interested in, you know, tell me all the open orders from the last quarter, and it will intelligently go get that information so like for like a voice me. recognition, all kinds yes, of new things are coming absolutely. out as a user interface or interface But for the cloud. enterprise, yep. right? Or on IT your phone interface. or in your computer. Yep. So it's all being automated. We all know AI, that's just, yes. oh, our jobs will be automated away, but this is specific. You're saying you're going to interface in with like Copilot. Exactly, mm -hmm. so you've all got right. that business context. All right, let's step back and look at the, the, the Lego blocks. Cloud, yep. um, um, the cloud uh, choice. Yep. Multi-cloud, and then we'll talk about the adoption piece, how you guys are accelerating that through mm -hmm. the marketplaces and the APIs and then the consumption through the, through the new interfaces. So start with uh, multi-cloud. What yeah. are the big uh, points there? Well, the first is uh, the, the agility that your um, platform as a service is now um, available on not just SAP data centers, but Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform and being delivered um, Amazon Web Services is now generally available. Um, Azure is now beta, and there's a preview of, uh, of Google, Google Cloud, Cloud Platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, um, you have one cockpit in SAP Cloud Platform to manage this uh, uh, multi-cloud um, so your strategy is to put your platform as a service on the clouds that customers want to run their workloads on. Exactly, so customers may already have specific workloads, um, or they may be working with partners that have workloads in those particular clouds, and now SAP Cloud Platform can run in that same infrastructure. So the plan is to support the platform as a service from SAP right. yep. on the clouds of choice for the customer. So they want to put stuff on Azure, if it's related to Office 365 or something going on with that, they can put it there. If they want to put some cloud native on Amazon Web Services, they can. If they want to use Spanner and some TensorFlow, they can yeah. put that mm -hmm. on Google. And to make mm -hmm. this happen, what's a really cool thing is that we did this through our work in um, Cloud Foundry. And this allows you to bring um, your own development language, so BYOL. So if you have, uh, 
developers that are working in a particular language um, that's not supported natively by SAP previously, they can now be instantly productive on building applications on SAP. So Cloud Foundry is the key to success in this. Yeah, yes. so Cloud Foundry, exactly. And that brings things like Node.js and Python, as well as SAP's. All the cloud um, native goodness that people want from a developer mm -hmm. standpoint. Exactly. But yet you guys allow it to run on-prem within the SAP constructs. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about cloud adoption, because this is where the big <laughs> rubber hits the road. Emily. We've been talking about the API economy for years. In fact, SAP was early on and web services going through back <laughs> But there's some real value in here because SAP runs software mm -hmm. um, for some of the biggest businesses. So there's a lot of nuances to SAP, but when you go cloud and cloud native, you've got to balance pre-existing right. install base legacy with new apps that are being developed. Mm -hmm. How are you guys going to do that? So we announced the API Business Hub um, uh, around a year ago at um, Sapphire in 2016. And it has grown tremendously in terms of content, right? So we had a lot of new APIs that keep getting added every month. And we're into the hundreds now. And But it's not just the APIs, we've got integration workflows. There's all kinds of different content that's being added in there to make it easier for our customers and partners to be able to leverage and integrate and connect these different applications with SAP backend. So a lot of exciting things happening on that end. So this allows them to go to the cloud business model. Exactly, right. Okay, now back to the consumption piece, this co-pilot. So is this where you guys are looking at where the, um, the dynamic nature of cloud can take advantage of the customers because not only interfacing with say voice for instance, mm -hmm. there's other things like, okay, I want to change processes. I'll have a, a workflow or I'm doing right. something. I want to just, uh, I'm, a, I'm not a developer, a Python developer. I want to go in and make some rule changes or things of that nature. Yeah, so we have the workflow service that's also available. We've got a whole host of new capabilities that are coming out and we call it digital edge, right? Giving our customers a digital edge with these new innovative services. Edge is the user and also machines. Yes. That's where the IOT piece comes in. Exactly. So and decision maker or customer says, hey, I've done all this stuff in the cloud. Uh, all of a sudden someone says, well, we got to bolt on some industrial data from machines in our plant or factory. In fact, our IOT, the newest set of capabilities for IOT services is available at Sapphire. So. Okay, so what's the big takeaway from this? Let's just boil it down. Bottom line, this announcement uh, impacts customers in what way? In many ways, right? Um, we see many of our customers wanting to become digital, right? And we've talked about how we think the benefits of cloud platform has to do with helping our customers become much more agile in how they do business, right? And SAP is in perfect position to do that, right? We've been doing working with companies, enterprises for years with their business processes and helping them optimize it, right? So that's the other benefit, be able to optimize all their business processes and through the cloud. And then lastly, digital is the way that they want to go. They know they want to be able to adopt all these new technologies. Technologies. AI is so exciting, right? Mm -hmm. um, the co-pilot, if you've seen the demo and you can see it at the show on the show floor here at Sapphire, it's amazing. The, just the fact that you can talk to it, create an order, um, do some search, talk to it. I know how, that's how my kids do, <laughs> how they get through everyday life, right? They don't yeah. go look up anything anymore. They don't even Google. It's very they dynamic. Certainly the kids are an indicator that you see what they want things, have the ability to move things around like the yeah, Lego so blocks the or speed, composability. The, so that's why we love talking about accelerating consumption and choice and cloud adoption because the speed speed mm -hmm. of which everyone is adopting new technologies is just astronomical. Michael, comment on, on that point, because I always, this is our eighth year covering Sapphire with theCUBE. Yep. Uh, it's our first year um, that we're not, we're doing it from the studio as well. But Bill McDermott has always been on this with the whole dashboarding thing. I mean, if you look at SAP, the speed <laughs> of business, I forget what year that was. But each year he never really changed. It's been the same arc. Might have been a zigzag here and there. A little success factors here and there. All this kind of integrations you guys have done. But it's been the same message. Data is at the heart of the customer's mm -hmm. outcomes. And the, the dashboards of old were data warehouses, but now he was showing a vision where with the speed of data, the speed of software, you can get your business dashboards at your fingertips. That's well, what the customers are looking for, yeah, your thoughts. It's, it's not only being able to, to get that information at your fingertips, but actually being able to do something about it. So you can build those applications that can make an impact. So you know, if you have, uh, you're using our iOS SDK and you've built that Apple um, interface, mm -hmm. you have a nice interface that you can um, you know, move an order or you can do something about it while you're traveling. So you have this great yeah. 
uh, dashboard, but now it's actionable. And this is the big difference. This mm -hmm. is what makes his original vision, which certainly can replicate with SAP's suite of data mm -hmm. and, and software, to a whole nother dimension of new apps. So app developers can come in and create mm -hmm. these apps and create new value propositions. Absolutely. All right, so how do they do that? How are they going to, what's the advice to customers as they look at this, this new announcement, the impact of them? What, what does it mean to the customer? Pick your cloud of choice, use the APIs. Plenty of choices, and of course, we offer them a lot of guidance too, right? Because we've got a lot of great customers that are using the cloud platform today, some of which are presenting here at Sapphire. Um, Karma Automotive, we love their story, right? Um, they used to be um, Fisker Automotive, right? Mm -hmm. All electronic. Um, vehicle, and it's amazing that the things that they want to do, and they're using the cloud platform more in order to do that. Um, but it's just another yeah. example of an innovative company that's looking to work with a company like SAP and doing everything in the cloud, building an application that will make make it easier in terms of IoT, um, the sensors and things like that, so they can track it to be able to take action on it. Yeah. So it's very exciting. So lots of new I think there's are two happening. things that jump out at me just to summarize the 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 freedom that developers in the cloud native world can do to create new apps that also blend in on all the, the existing value that SAP's already is doing in mm -hmm. the marketplace. That's always been, I said, that was something that I observed last year, this is now a realization of that. Uh, but two is now the customers now have a choice to put whatever they want in whatever cloud, and to me what we've seen on theCUBE <laughs> over the many interviews we've done, you, people who follow theCUBE know, we talk to a lot of people, it's the workloads find their homes some like Amazon, some like Azure, some like Google, and I think that is what customers are telling us. Right. And you guys are now offering that choice. Right. Hey, put some workloads over there, it doesn't matter where you want to put them, right. we're just going to run them with, with, with the... And where we can help is really on the business service side, right? We have the right t types of application services within the, the yeah. platform as a service offering to enable them to create those types of apps to support their business. Applications, data, value for customers. And it's the integration of data yeah. with the, into the application, yeah. right? Because yeah. There'll be a that's, new, that's new generation important. of application developers who are going to be standing up applications like PowerPoint slides, really <laughs> easy, composing apps. Yep. That is the, the DevOps mainstream uh, trend. Exactly. Emily, thanks so much for sharing the great news. Michael, good to see you. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Special Sapphire now, 2017 coverage, breaking the news of the three C's, multi-cloud, SAP's new announcement in Orlando. This is theCUBE coverage. More coverage after this short break.